Do you struggle with being unhappy? Do you find your moods and emotions are literally all over the place on a roller coaster? Do you want to know how to be happy, how to have happiness that lasts longer? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you, and it's not as difficult as you may think. I'm John Morris, folks, and welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper. Hey folks, and welcome to today's episode of Going Deep, where we look at the battle of unhappiness. Originally, this show was going to be called The Battle Against Unhappiness, but I want to tell you something straight off the bat. Whenever you are against something, it limits you. So we want to be for, we want to turn things on a positive angle, okay? So instead of being against unhappiness, we are for happiness, okay? And today, I want to share with you a few simple tips more than anything on how to be happy. Now the first thing, what does it mean to be unhappy? Well to be unhappy is defined as being dissatisfied with a situation or a person. Now this can come from a number of different areas. You may be dissatisfied with choices that you made in your life. You may be dissatisfied with your job. You may be dissatisfied with a relationship or, or a hobby or something. Maybe it doesn't give you that same buzz that it once did. That's the definition of dissatisfaction. And that's what it means to be unsatisfied. But did you know there are times when we can create our own sadness, our own unhappiness? And I want to give you a few different things that, that can cause and some of the symptoms of being unhappy. So for example, when a person feels unhappy, what they tend to do is they isolate themselves a lot. They don't want to be around people a whole lot. They may be snappier and, and just a little bit more aggressive and, and not that much fun to be around when they're unhappy. They may start to get very, very negative. Again, if you've seen the traffic light system, a lot of this you already know. They start to get a little bit negative. They start to feel really tired and really just fed up. And they just seem like they've no energy in them at all. Being unhappy can be a really, really difficult thing. But did you know there are actually patterns? Some people call them paradigms. Paradigms is basically nothing more than a pattern. We, are, we all have patterns of behavior. We all have paradigms to our behavior. And patterns are one of the things that I really want to develop an awareness in you with. So for example, when I get up in the morning, now, my pattern is usually get up, get in the gym, or start work, do whatever I'm doing, have breakfast with my wife, go for a bath or a shower, and then get on with the day. Okay, boom, 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 boom. I'm watching as well, but one specific thing that I do is I put my earbuds in, and I've got ready to go Stuff that I know is going to make me happy, is going to make me feel positive, is going to make me feel ready for the day. This isn't just positive thinking, folks. There's a lot more to it, and I'm going to share this with you. Now, what I did when I really felt miserable, and I really, because I went through a long period of time where I was just really negative, really angry, really, really frustrated with the world and with everything, okay? And I would get up, and I would go and sit on the couch, and I'd maybe sit on my phone, and I'd do my promoting, I'd do my marketing, and then I'd wait for my wife to get up, and then we'd have breakfast, and but I felt angry and frustrated all the time. Then I'd go in the gym and I'd grump about it. Then I'd go in the bath and I'd grump about it. Anytime she wanted to do my hair, by the way, I've, all, I've, I've had all my hair and, and face all done and everything. It looks nice. Um, but when, when you know, anytime that that would happen, I'd be, rrr, rrr, you know, I was not fun to be around, okay? Until I learned one specific thing. There is no stress in the world. There isn't. You can't touch or feel or bottle stress. There is only people thinking stressful thoughts and then acting upon them. And this got me thinking. This one phrase that I had learned and been taught by a doctor called Wayne Dyer, he sadly passed away, no longer with us. And he said this and it got me thinking and I thought, well, what, what other things do we create in our minds? A number of different things that I'm currently working on number of different products, number of different ideas, number of different projects 
that because they, they are born in the brain, that's where they must be tackled. Being unhappy is actually born in the brain. It comes as a result of, of our actions. Now, get this. We create our thoughts. Our thoughts create our feelings. And our feelings create our intentions, which then leads to our actions. How many people have been in a relationship, for example, with someone they just met? Maybe at a bar or, or wherever it might be. And boom, they meet and they think, oh, this is really, really good. I'm really happy now. And then they start to find out things about the person they really don't like. Maybe in, in one of my client's cases, they're an alcoholic. And they're quite an abusive and rude person. And they've made the decision of going further and further and spiraling out of control because they weren't aware of how damaging some of these things can be. I said, oh, that's interesting. And I started to do more and more research and start to find these things out. And I looked and I said, well, what's the pattern then to unhappiness? So I did some research with some test subjects. I call them guinea pigs. I like to put it in the nicest way possible. But what, they, what I found and what they were telling me is this. I said, well, what do you do first thing in the morning? Oh, I get up and I put my music on. And I said, just out of interest, what kind of music do you listen to? And one lady responded with, well, I listen to rap. Okay, it's quite an aggressive thing. Uh, another one you know, uh, said to me, I, I listen to heavy metal music, and then they described the, the band, and I was like, oh. And I had to Google this band, I'd never heard them before. And it was like, ah, you know, constant screaming, constant shouting. And I thought, okay, this is, this is now starting to level up. One person said, well, I get up and I put on the news. I was like, oh, well, first and foremost, you know, if you're looking to be positive, you don't want to switch on the news. You don't want to read newspapers if you're looking to be positive. And it all started to mirror up. So one by one, I said to them, I've got a new product that's out. Now, if, you, if you've been following the newsletter for a while, you'll know about this because it's the same, it's the same thing that I really went through, okay? I found that I had to create myself an, a positive, immersive experience. Now, it's not a pill, it's not a, you know, a drug or a vapor or a rub or, a, or a, you know, bath salts or healing crystals or anything like that. But it's literally where you put it in your ears. And what it is, it's positive affirmations. And it's got teaching, it, it, it's, we're still trying to decide on the name, so if you've got an idea for the name of it, but the idea is that it's, it's an anxiety kicker. Because anxiety, again, is born from fear. Being unhappy comes down to our thoughts. Now what I found with this teaching was when I put it on after one day, I believe it was, I was just trying to remember, I did it for a period of seven days, but after the first day, I started to feel really positive, really energized, really excited. My wife couldn't believe it, because I'm normally the pessimist, you wouldn't believe that, but I'm normally the pessimist between us. And I started to be really positive. So I started to get really excited about future projects and future things that were going on. And I kept listening to it over and over and over again, and I started to think, well, if I can do it with being positive, I do it again, you know, being level and balanced, then I can also do it with other things. And that's what started to happen for me. So for, for being happiness, what I'm going to encourage you to do, I've got a special offer on for the people that are watching this video. We've got a coupon code in the box below. I want you to go, I want you to type that coupon in. And the product is, it's all linked down there, so you just click on the product, highlight the coupon, and it'll take you straight to the shopping cart, okay? And you're going to get a very, very special discount. And it's basically an audio recording that I've done. It lasts for an hour, or 62 minutes, and it's positive affirmations, it's positive teaching. And what I want you to do is to listen to this as many times as you can in a day, but ideally twice a day. When you get up first thing in the morning, you're making breakfast, put it on. When you are about to go to sleep, put it on. Okay, and I want you to do that every day for seven days. And I want you to let me know in the comment section below how you get on, okay? Because I promise you that this has really worked for me. This is no BS kind of thing, okay? I never ever teach on something that I have not first-hand experience in, okay? And I think you guys and girls have probably re recognized that now. But what I found was when I started to replace my negative thinking with positivity, I started to be more positive. I started to actually be more balanced than everything. Normally my emotions are woo, 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 here, there, and everywhere. But what I started to find was I started to become more positive. And when I became more positive, I not only got more things done, I was more productive. I not only inspired other people, I not only was able to teach in a much better way, 
but I really start to feed my mind. We have to be aware and we have to live with an awareness of what we're feeding our mind because what we feed our mind, we will become. It says in the Bible, you know, in the book of Proverbs, as a man thinks, he or she will become. It doesn't see as they become, so he or she thinks. Our thoughts are really, really powerful. So I want you to try this. Okay, like I say, it's on special offer right now. For the people that are watching this video, the coupon is in the comment section below, and the link is there. Click the link, put in the coupon, and away you go. And I want you to try this for seven days. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, okay? But I am almost willing, I, I never make guarantees, okay? But I'm almost willing to be right there, that it certainly, if nothing else, will have a positive impact on your life. I know you've seen a lot of different products, know you've seen a lot of different things that are out there. And if it doesn't work, you're going to keep the product. Okay, but try it for a period of seven days and see how it makes you feel. I promise you, it made a massive difference in my life and I'm sure that it can in yours as well. You'll feel more relaxed, you'll feel ideally, you know, again, this isn't a blueprint for everybody. But what you need to also be aware of is the other things that you're feeding your mind. Okay, so if you're feeding your mind constantly negativity and horror and just thrillers and all these kind of things, then, you know, you're not going to feel as positive and as energized as you probably would if you're feeding it other things. So be aware of those things. As we wrap up, okay, it is really, really important in getting balanced. That's why I've developed this product. This, this wasn't, by the way, a, a, you know, an, an infomercial for, for this new product. Um, but I felt it was really important to tell you you know, again, what we see, what we hear, what we, we think about, we are going to become. And if you're thinking unhappy and negative thoughts all the time because that's all you've got coming in, then that is what's going to play out in your life. And, and then the opposite to that is if you're feeding your life with positivity and excitement and a lot of positive things that are going on, then that is what's going to come. People around you are actually going to be standing around and going, what on earth happened to you? Oh, well, listen, there's teaching by this, uh, by this Scottish guy, John Morris. I said, you need to try this. He's got a special offer on just now. And you'll be amazed. And people around you will be amazed at how it impacts their life. Seven days. Try it twice a day. Be aware as to what you're feeding life. And the thing is, the more you listen to it, the more positive you're going to become. And when you're positive, a lot of these unhappy things, you know, start to fade away. And you start being thankful for a lot of things. That's, that's something when people get unhappy, and I've been there, okay, I really have been there, folks. I've been there with depression, I've been there with a lot of different things. But when people are unhappy, they forget to be grateful. And now I tell people, I'm like, look, if you can, if you, if you've nothing in your life that you can be grateful for, be grateful that you do not have some of these things. And we can always be grateful for something that we don't have. And it's really important to do that. So I want you to try it folks, I want you to click that link below, put in the coupon code, you're going to get a really, really special discount. And let me know how you get on. Let me know in the comment section below, or visit us at thebattlesweallface.com, you can get in touch with me there, I would love to hear from you. And if you find this helpful, please share it with a friend. And as always folks, that's going to bring us to the end of our schedule and the end of our time together today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope you found it informative as to your battle of unhappiness. And if you are battling unhappiness, then I know, I can promise you, this is gonna work. Okay, this is something that's really, really gonna help. You know, again, th this teaching is gonna help, and ideally, this new product's gonna help as well. So I want you to try it. Folks, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, as always, to like, share, and subscribe. Come and visit us at thebattlesweallface.com. Tell a friend, because it may be the very thing that helps them in their battle of unhappiness. And I've been your host, John Morris. This has been Going Deeper, where we go a little bit deeper into a specific topic, subject, or whatever it might be. And until next time, I will see you soon. Take care, and God bless. Do you struggle with motivation? Feel yourself procrastinating a lot? Have amazing ideas and dreams, but struggle with the concept of how to get from where you are to where you want to be? Or maybe looking for something a little bit simpler, like wanting to get fit, or maybe wanting to lose a few pounds and tighten things up. Are you someone that struggles with anxiety or trauma or even depression? You're not alone. Many people around the world do. Hi folks, I'm John Morris. And for the last two decades, I've been working with people from all over the world in all walks of life to really understand human beings, the concept, the behaviors, and ultimately the reasons why. 
and I've had the privilege of coaching and working with folks just like you that maybe are struggling with anxiety or depression or trauma or wanting to get ahead, wanting to maybe build some long-term success but have no idea how to begin. This is what I do. And with John Morris Life Coaching, you're in really, really good hands. Why can I say this? Because you're not only gonna get an experienced life coach, you're also gonna get somebody that has a wide variety of experiences from youth ministry and working with teenagers and children to someone who's worked with drug addicts and alcoholics, people that have day-to-day -day dependency issues, to, to somebody maybe just like you that just wants that little bit of encouragement, wants that little bit of motivation, and wants support to get to that next level. With John Morris Personal Life Coaching, you're in really good hands. A lot of my clients would tell you, if they were here now, that one of the greatest assets to John Morris Life Coaching is you can see things exactly as you want to see them, without fear of being controlled and conformed like a lot of therapists and coaches do. We help you right where you're at to get to the place that you want to be, step by step, to figure out a plan. So if this sounds like something that you would be interested in, having that support, motivation, encouragement, and even education, should you need it, then get in touch with me today. I would love to hear from you. Places are limited, so please don't delay. We've got a very, very small window of opportunity remaining. We all need help from time to time, but the difference between success and failure, achieving our dreams, and maybe just letting our dreams go by, depends on the level of help that we have available and that we're willing to accept. So get in touch with me today at John Morris Life Coaching. You'll be glad you did, and I'll see you soon.